bribery, fraud, and breach of trust. Israel's general attorney said he plans to indict Benjamin Netanyahu on these charges over not one, but three cases. Case 1000, cigars and pink champagne. Netanyahu is accused of having received gifts worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, including cigars, champagne and jewelry from Hollywood mogul Arnon Milchen and Australian billionaire James Packer. In return, the prime minister allegedly promoted an extension of tax cuts, which would have benefited Milchen. In the end, the finance ministry blocked the legislation. Netanyahu denies the gifts were bribes. Case 2000, getting positive media coverage. The prime minister is accused of conspiring with Arnon Moses, the publisher of one of the largest dailies, to pass laws hampering a rival newspaper in exchange for positive coverage. Conversations have been recorded, yet Netanyahu has again denied wrongdoing and insists he was simply testing Moses. All along, the prime minister said the cases against him are empty. I read the recommendation report, and I can say it's biased, extreme, and full of holes, just like Swiss cheese. Case 4000, the only one in which Netanyahu faces bribery charges on top of fraud and breach of trust. It involves Israel's biggest communication company, which owns news site Walla. Netanyahu was communication minister from 2014 to 2017. He is suspected of indirectly promoting legislation that would have favored Bezik and of allowing its owner, Shaul Alovich, to sell his other company, Satellite Network Yes, to Bezik several times its market value. All this allegedly for positive coverage on Walla.